come to realize so much more now that that's a part of growing up. Our first connections that we grasp so tightly, we learn to let that go so that we can move forward. Actually, the first poem in my poetry book is about that moment, is about this exact bulletin board, which had hung on my wall for three years, collecting any scrap of memory or friend or something that I could piece together to make myself feel connected and at home. It kind of struck me, finally, that I didn't need those old memories haunting me anymore, that one of the things I needed to do to move forward was to just take all of that off and just start fresh and look forward and learn to make adult connections and learn to look forward for happiness and trust that we will always, that we are worth it and we will always continue to find it. And I did do a one year later video um, looking back on all the wonderful people and memories that I had made during the, you know, my new life in Austin. It's been two years now since that video, which is crazy to say. I'm not going to continue this tradition because I now have this confidence and this understanding that good memories and good people will always come and that a different perspective of not grasping onto this so tightly, but more just letting the moments roll over me and being in flow. But that being said, I do have this treasure trove of memories to share with you now. And I do think it's good that I did this too, because if anyone's watching my channel, any young queers that are really nervous about leaving religion and leaving their hometown and all this, they can look at this and see that there's lots of great stuff to come. As you can see up top here, this is the invitation to my cousin's wedding. And to me that doesn't just symbolize the fact that my cousin, who's two years younger than me, got married, but the fact that her family, who lives here in Austin, I've gotten to be a lot closer to in the past year. They've been like the most supportive of me and Evelyn and of me coming out. Um, more supportive than my hometown, like my mom and dad and my siblings and stuff, my hometown family. We had a regular game night with them and me and Evelyn, which was the most integrated Evelyn's ever been with my family and probably ever will be, so that's really, really cool. And I was so nervous when it came out that she would never be a part of any part of my family, but she definitely is and that's really, really special. This right here is a little cut out from like a beer and that is from a date I'm actually still friends with her, even though we're not dating anymore, as queer scenes go. This is an Out Youth sticker. I got involved with Out Youth for the first time this year, which is a charitable organization in Austin that's a drop-in center for LGBTQ youth aged 12 to 18. I started volunteering with them last summer, and it's been one of the most amazing experiences of my life, just to be a part of something that's bigger than myself, and that is helping literally kids that are in a place that I was, they're queer, but they're, you know, they're either out or they're not, but they're teens and they're uncertain about their place in society, they're nervous, they're anxious, they're at risk more so than their straight peers, and this community is there to support them. And so being able to help both by volunteering there in person and also by like calling and helping them set up GSAs in different schools around Texas or advocate for that was an amazing part of my last year and I'll, I'll continue to support them hopefully forever but for as long as I can. I got involved with Aquarian Age Wicca this year, last year, which has been crazy, another huge part of my life. I can't believe I'm part of an actual Wiccan coven and I feel like we meet twice a week, we do all kinds of cool stuff. Also, besides my spiritual practice that has become such a huge part of my life that I never foresaw and a really nurturing part of it, just my friend Christy has been a really grounding, centering friend in my life over the past two years, but also the past last year. We went to Shakespeare in the Park, we went to Zilker Musicals, we went to Barton Creek, we went to, you know, Gays on the Green, or Blues on the Green. The Gays on the Green was the the group that we were there with. But we went to, we did games and parties, and she's been, she's come and gone to cool shit with me, and I, I am so, so grateful for her friendship. This here is the napkin holder from the night that Evelyn and I went out with my grandparents for the first time. <laughs> it was just so special to me that they were inviting her in that I saved that. Gift card to a place called Beach Hut. Me and Evelyn like went like for about a couple months, I think, went fairly regularly to trivia nights with my friend, which was so amazing. Like just learning to like chill hang with people was like a learning curve for me. 
Um, and I'm, I'm just, I'm so grateful for those special memories. This here is a little note from my work at the Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf. And it says like, I think it's when I've been working there for a few months. And my manager just wrote me a little note saying, hey, you're doing an amazing job. We're so proud of you. And to be part of like a company and a team for a long time was like I've been moving from job to job to job like ever since I started working and so being able to like be a part of a team of a coffee shop or any job and be included and accepted and have my name Chris my new name called like by my boss and everything was just such a euphoric feeling one million percent after I came out as Chris now I kept pretty much everything people wrote my name down on for a little while there because I was just super super excited about it. That's me, um, one of the first tabling events I did for Out Youth. This little pamphlet here is a play that me and Evelyn saw last year um, about in Austin. It's made by trans people for trans people and it was called Transom about a found family in Austin, Texas um, of trans people. And it was like so relatable and so hilarious and I just it was one of the first pieces of media that I saw that really included trans people and it just really solidified my like yearning to like see that and honestly just gave me so much courage to be myself I, like this stuff is really important and I really hope that more things like that are made in the future because it's just so validating and so important to see art that includes you and your community, you know? Again, me and Christy, another one of my friends went out too, just going out and doing things with friends. Um, and going on the date. Austin Pride here. I've been both years that I've been here. It's been really amazing. And I actually met a really cute person that I think I've mentioned in another one of my videos on here. At like after the Austin Pride parade, there was a trans pride in uh, Genuine Joe's, which is, a, not Genuine Joe's, sorry. Um, Cheer Up Charlie's which is a gay bar, a queer bar downtown. So there's a trans pride after the pride parade and I went to that and met a really cute human who I was super attracted to and like we dated for a few months and it was like a super positive experience for me. Even though we're no longer together and of course I'm not gonna share any of that but the point being I had a super fun night and I also just like met some really cute queer people. We can be out and proud and be dating and living and figuring out our lives in our own ways here in Austin and be proud about it. Like that's pretty cool and that person showed me a lot of cool like ways of just being themselves and being epic in this world and being out and I, I love that. Here are a couple of tickets. I think there are dates that we went on, so. This is a band at Cheer Up Charlie's, one of my favorite bars. It has a lot of magical moments that night with a really cool badass feminist band playing and some shots and some cuties and some witches and some, it's a good night. <laughs> Here's a little ticket where I went camping with actually that same person. And again, not trying to like put my personal life way out there or definitely not theirs but let's just say it was an amazing experience and it was cool to like recenter myself into relationships that are like meaningful and deep and comfortable and good and moving away from like I guess just sleeping with people that I didn't really know that well you know it was a lot more of a move towards getting to know people that I really soul connected with and had like or just a really like positive relationship with and yeah we got to be in nature go camping that was my first time going camping because well no i went camping one time before that as a person that was growing up as a girl i was kind of you know my brother was in boy scouts and i was always taught that like no i was supposed to be at home and learning to cook and clean and stuff and so i had just never really done this kind of thing and it was so great and it just made me want to keep going camping and like go again and instill that in me even further that just love of nature and of being in nature and of yeah I just I always remember that that trip I kind of stopped doing this board a few months ago so this year I've been collecting memories on my fridge and just throughout the house and the looks which is probably more like how I'll continue to do it in the future but the last thing I did put on here just yesterday is this little Tobo Chico lime cap that I smashed and that is just a memory of 
some really fun game nights because in this new year before COVID-19, uh, I had a bunch of really fun game nights, just chill people hanging out and learning and being confident in themselves like I've never experienced before. It's just been nice and learning to just let go and be chill and like be myself in the situations and understand that this, that there's good and there's good times ahead like forever and I don't have to like, yeah. So that's a memory of that. Thank you so much for watching this two years um, of being queer. I hope you're all faring well in COVID-19 and I hope while I'm not continuing the memory collection thing right now anymore, I just, I just hope that this encourages you that if you are queer and beginning on this journey, like I was so different just a year ago when I did my first one of these videos and before the year before that when I did my first video I was so different and just the fact that you can get from so anxious and scared as I was then to like more confident in yourself as I am now and learn to just like and have all these wonderful experiences that I know it feels like you will never have it's just really important that I share that with people that people know if you're scared at home and you're not comfortable being yourself, that you will get there. You will. And uh, maybe one day you'll be so confident that you don't have to keep collecting bits of paper to remember, because you'll know that it just keeps getting better. And always remember that we are epic heroes today and every day of our lives. And I'll see you in the next video. So real quick, I'm also going to show you that this gratitude jar is something that I started a couple years ago and I put mostly notes in it from whenever I celebrate um, the solstices and the equinox with my friends, but I've also put in little bits of memories since I stopped kind of actively doing the board, both this one and this one, which were from very special circles with my coven and um, some and some notes in there from just like highlights of, of the equinoxes and solstices of my friends. I believe that this jar brings like positivity into my home the more good things I add to it. This little corner of my home is where I keep various little things. There's the crystals I talked about and these flowers specifically are from when I had a Valentine's Day gathering with my friends, but we just called it Palentine's. And last but not least, this small little corner of the fridge, another uh, little memory of Palentine's Day. And then both this note, which is actually my um, New Year's mantra, don't let great be the enemy of good. Both this and these two little magnets here are from Out Youth. This was from a day when we were making our New Year's mantras in um as a project with the kids and these are something that one of the kids made for me which is really really sweet and really special and this little thing here is just a piece of queer art that i was able to get from a queer artist that was at a little hangout that i went to so just a nice reminder of queerness